Hi family, welcome back into our channel. It's a little dark where I am, so hopefully the video would lighten up a little bit before we end the video, but welcome back in. This is Nikki and I'm so excited for our video today and I'm grateful that you tuned back in to get your daily dose of inspiration, to get your daily dose of motivation. Thank all of you for what you do on our channel every day. I mean, every single one of you. I am so elated with all of your support, your prayers. Thank you all so very much. It means so much to me. When you stop caring, people can't stand it. You stop caring, and now people can't take the fact that you can stop caring. You don't show concern about a lot of things that you used to show concern for. And people never thought that you would not show that much concern. You know, it was a game to a lot of people because they didn't have good intentions for you. So whenever you would express how you feel over and over and over and over again, I mean, some of you probably talked to people till you were blue in the face, literally. And it was all funny games for some people. It was until you stopped caring. The moment that you closed up your spirit, the moment that you stop talking, the moment that you stop showing concern in the areas that you were showing concern, people begin to take notice. People have taken notice that you have closed up your spirit. People have taken notice that the things that you used to question, you used to bring some things into question, but now you're not doing that anymore. And your silence is very dangerous. And I believe now that people are realizing not just your silence is dangerous, but your silence is a permanent decision and they hate it. They hate that your silence has become a final decision. You're done and you don't care. And people don't like that you don't care. You've stopped caring now and people don't like that you stop caring. They like they like you more whenever you would show so much care and when you would show so much concern. They liked it. And the reason why some of these people liked it because they were opportunists and they felt as if they had the upper hand on you. They never had the upper hand. They just weren't used to someone like you. They weren't used to a very authentic person. They weren't used to a person who was very nurturing, who was very kind. They wasn't used to a person who was very giving, giving, who was very honest. They weren't used to an individual like you. You're, you're very priceless and you're very unique and you're a very peculiar person. And you've graced the presence of some people who really didn't know what to do with you. But you've stopped caring now. You have stopped caring and people hate it. People don't like it whenever you stop caring. They like it. They liked it more when you would nag and when you would show concern and whenever you would always talk, 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 talk. When you were the fixer, or when you were trying to be that fixer in your relationship, they liked it then. But now that you've closed up your spirit, now you've shut down your spirit with people, that means you've gone within and you stopped talking. You stop caring. You just threw your hands up and say, whatever happens, let it happen. And people don't like that now. You don't care now. And now people do. And they hate it. That there's nothing that they can do to pull you back in. They can't pull you back in because you're done. And you tried to tell a lot of people. But they didn't believe you. So now they're bringing into question your silence. So now people are going to question your silence and now they're going to question how long that you're able to stay in your silence as if your silence is a game. Your silence isn't a game. Your silence is a permanent ending in the face of the people who tried to clown you, but they will literally get clowned themselves. So you have to be careful when you call yourself going to take advantage of good hearted people, kind hearted people. In the eyes of some people, not everybody, but in the eyes of some people, 
your kindness was viewed as weakness. They looked at your kindness and your graciousness, the way you love, because everybody's love language is different. So they looked at these attributes, the, the characteristics of you. They looked at these things as a sign of weakness. But it wasn't a sign of weakness. They just wasn't used to people like you. They weren't used to real people. They weren't used to authentic people gracing their presence. But now you've stopped caring. You don't care now. You don't care anymore. And it's nothing intentional. You don't have anything in your heart against anybody. You just don't care. And when you stop caring, people care. But they jumped on board with their feelings a day late and a dollar short. You don't hold any on against anybody. But your word is your bond. And you've sworn to your own hurt and you're not going to change. It is what it is. You do not care now. And people hate it. They hate the fact that they play games with you. And they don't like it that the games that they play with you have cost a friendship. It's cost a relationship. Maybe it's cost a marriage. Maybe it's cost them a business partnership. It's done. It's a done deal. You don't care anymore. And they hate it because they never thought the day would come where you would stop caring. They didn't think that. But God has a funny way of giving you back what you gave it. See, this is why you don't have to render evil for evil. You don't have to do that. God said, vengeance belongs to me. Listen what God tells us. God is telling people who have done these things to you. God is telling you, vengeance belongs to me. Not you. Not me. Vengeance belongs to God. And he's telling you today that he's going to give the judgment. He said, I want to do it. He said, hold your peace. He said, I'm going to fight this battle for you. God is going to fight every battle for you, and you're going to win every single time. So don't get in God's way. Just fall back a little bit, family. Fall back. I'm proud of you for stop caring. I'm, I'm so proud of you for stop placing your emotions in an empty bucket. I'm so proud of all of you for pouring your heart and your emotions in a glass that doesn't have a bottom in it. Where you didn't have equal reciprocity in your relationship or in your marriage. I am so proud of you because you are showing such strength. When you stop caring, people hate that you don't care. They can't get any response out of you. They can't get any reaction out of you. It doesn't matter what they try. It doesn't matter what people do. You can care less now. You can care less now. And they hate the fact that you can care less now because they didn't think the day would come that their games would cost them you. They never thought that the games that they played with you, that it would cost your friendship, that it would cost your relationship, that it would cost a business ship business ship it will cost a partnership you can care less about how people think you can care less about how people feel but they care now you know life has a funny funny way of showing you and giving you a taste of your own medicine it was all fun and games at the time for some people it was all dandy for some people because they never thought the tables would turn they never thought that they would reap what they, that what they sowed. They never thought that. They thought they would go through life doing exactly what they're doing and not receiving the repercussions. But your silence is dead silence. You have a dead silence about you. I mean, you're not talking. You're unmoved. You're unbothered. You're unfazed. And people can't stand the fact that no matter what they do, no matter what they try, they can't take you out of your peace. Whatever you do in this world, don't let anybody take you out of your peace. You hold on to your peace. You can care less now. People know it. And they hate it. They hate the fact that the gulf that is in between you and them. There's a gulf in between you and them. And there's a bridge that they destroyed that they thought they could go back and rebuild. Some bridges cannot be rebuilt. 
You look at our natural world in a physical bridge. Some bridges are not going to be rebuilt. And the bridge between you and some people will not be rebuilt. It is a done deal. It is a done deal. The tables have turned. Now you are in the forefront. And now they're in the back. Now you don't care. And now people care. Now people want to come and see how they can fix it. But you waited too late to fix it. Now you don't want to fix it. Now you don't want a reconciliation. Now you don't want to partner with these people. Now you don't want to network with these people because you waited a little bit too late. You played a little bit too many games. And now that people have revealed their true heart towards you, why would you invest? Why would you put your best foot forward with somebody who's shown you what they really are about? People have shown you what they're about. So when a person shows you what they are about, you must believe these people. I don't care what you want to have with people. It doesn't matter what future you desire for an individual. When a person shows you how much they loathe you, when a person shows you how much of a burden that you are to them, when a person shows you whenever you get down on your face that I'm going to leave you there, that I won't give you a lending hand, when a person show you that, you have to run away. You have to believe what people show you, family of God. Because if you don't take people at face value when they show you who they really are, when they show you their true colors, then they're going to bamboozle you. They're going to use you. They're going to dog you out. They're going to take advantage of you. And then you're going to be left there with a broken heart. You are going to be left there with the deer-like headlights, with your mouth hanging open. People hate themselves now because you don't care now. You don't care now. And there's nothing that they can do to make you care. You don't care what's going on in the lives of some people. You're so focused and you're so goal-driven with your own life. And people want to be a part of your life, but they can't be a part of your life anymore, family. That door has been closed. That window of opportunity is gone. And when God gives you a window of opportunity, you got to keep it. You got to know what to do with it. It's like when God gives you people. You have to know what to do with these people. God doesn't give you people. Nobody just walks in your life. God hears your prayers. He hears your prayers. And this is God's way of answering your prayers. You were an answer to somebody's prayers, but they just threw you away. They threw you to the wayside. They didn't honor you. They didn't value you. They didn't respect you. But the moment you close up your spirit, the moment that you stop talking, the moment that you stop sharing concern, the moment that you stop arguing with people, the moment that you stop trying to fix it, the moment that you stop questioning, the moment that you stop doing that, it opened the eyes of a lot of people. Because now they know that you really can care less and you don't care and you don't hate anybody. You just can care less. And the thing is that you used to desire, you don't desire these things anymore, family of God. But now they care. But they can care somewhere else. And you care somewhere else. You need to always put you as a priority. God is always first, but you have to make yourself a priority. You have to love yourself because when you learn to love yourself authentically, you're going to teach everybody that is around you that they must treat you the same, that they cannot be a part of your life and to treat you less than. That's a fact. And don't ever forget it. I'm proud of your family. Go on with your life and do great things in this world because the best is truly yet to come for you. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel. Keep liking that video. Keep liking it because it helps the algorithm of our channel and it gives us a huge, huge opportunity to reach more people. There's so many people that need to hear our messages. So keep doing that and don't get scammed. You see the scammers? Delete the reply and keep reporting these people. Thank all of you, all of you so much for all of your support, your prayers, your acts of kindness and for supporting that book. You can care less now, family. And people hate that you care less now. They like you better whenever you show them that you care. Because sometimes you will go back and forth and you will show that you care, that you had emotions, that you were concerned about how to fix it. But the moment you stop doing that, oh my goodness, it's been an aha moment for so many people. And now they know you don't care. And there's nothing that people can do to bring you back to the person that you used to be because that old part of you is gone. You are a new person. You are a new creature. You are a new creation. You are. All the old things about you, all those things are gone. All of those things are gone. And don't allow people to trigger that old part of you. 
Don't do that. Got to go, family. I love you so much. Thank all of you once more. Be encouraged. Hold your head up and know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That weapon may form, but it will never, ever prosper. And whatever didn't come to destroy you, it's going to make you stronger. It tried to kill you. It tried to destroy you. It tried to take you out. It did, but it didn't because you are stronger and you are built for trouble. You are built for adversity. You were built for opposition. Did you know that? You were built for this. You were born for this. You are a winner. And everything that is connected to God overcomes this world. God is an overcomer and we are overcomers. How do we overcome? We overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our own testimony. Keep telling your testimonies, family. Love y'all. Gotta go. Bye-bye.